ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ጥራት ባለው ስልጠና ለዩነት መፍጠር ዋናው ዓላማው ነው ከከፍተኛ ትምህርት አግባብነትና ጥራት ኤጀንሲ ሙሉቅና ባገኘንባቸው በማስተርስ ፕሮግራም ኤምቢኤ በስትራቴጂክ ማኔጅመንት ኤምቢኤ በቢዝነስ ሊደርሺፕ ኤምቢኤ በሪስክና ኢንሹራንስ ኤምቢኤ በባንኪንግና ፋይናንስ ኤምኤስሲ በኢንተርናሽናል ትሬድ እና ኢኮኖሚክስ ኤምኤ በሆስፒታሊቲ ማኔጅመንት ኤምኤ በሎጂስቲክስና ሰፕላይ ቼይን ማኔጅመንት ኤምኤስሲ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት ተማሪዎቻችን በልዩነት ይማራሉ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች ስልጣናው ይሰጣል ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በዲግሪ ፕሮግራም በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በመዝገባ ላይ ነን ባጫጭር ኮርሶችም በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በቲኬቲንግ እና ሪዘርቬሽን በሆስቴስ በሆስፒታሊቲ ማኔጅመንት እና ሰለጥናለን አድራሻ ከ22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን እውን ያደርጋል ቱዴ we will try to see um uh, what are the roles of foreign policy and we try to understand ethiopian foreign policy especially after the modern uh, period wonderful with the in the for international relation okay as we have seen clearly last time uh, in order to have a good international relation states or countries uh, needs to have Uh, a good foreign policy that foreign policy is used as a tool as a principle or as a law to keep the interest of both countries bale ko tamartachin endemu tasawsut ngidi dalam akab gilinat and betam wasan mibalo neger mindino foreign policy no it is just a document it is a written agreement and that agreement usually needs as a negotiating tool and the medaradaria tab bemiyagatun betize chigir bemiyagatun betize yemiyagalekinen mesfarya no matna so today what i'm planning to see with you is uh, we try to understand the foreign policy behaviors foreign policy has its own behavior we try to refer that behavior and then we'll move to uh, we'll move into looking at the foreign policy of ethiopia in different time zone ethiopia demo betalayu negestat gize yeneberaten foreign policy lamayet mokaden malto so you can divide uh, you can divide foreign policy into three okay uh, foreign policy betakale uh, bersost litikaflu tichilallachu the short term foreign policy the middle term foreign policy and a long term foreign policy this uh, division is uh, mainly on the basis of time span uh, in uh, short term long term or medium term blend them and cover for the kize what is our reference reference achievement now it is the time okay so for example in the short time foreign policy uh, we need some assistance for the time being the problem might not stay for forever but at that time we need some help we need some alliance we need some friendship with some countries and such kinds of relationship is uh, managed or um, tried to negotiated by a short term foreign policy for example the current situation that we are in is a very good example i can give you aun alam yallechbet huneta lemisale lezi the current disease the new disease uh, it links the world more than ever time yeah alenum betam yakararaba betam yasasasara because since the disease is easily transmitted beshitaw endemnaqaw bekalalu yemi saraj bekalalu yemi talalif bemuhunu countries do have a common objective just to have some vaccine and to eradicate uh, the disease and to return to their former position and beshita bega atto wede qarmu gure ifa lememeles kundu mager ifelgal therefore this problem we knew that we knew that this problem will never stay forever the world has experienced so many pandemics like this and they have successfully 
uh, one. Therefore, therefore, <coughs> uh, this is relationship that can build on the basis of short term period. The short term period usually will not st stay for not more than two years. Or not, or if it is a war, if it is a civil war, yeah? uh, so at that time, until that problem uh, is solved, the states can create some relationship. In such kinds of relationship, such kinds of uh, international relationship will be managed by the short term uh, policy. The short term policy is coming up until that problem is totally uh, avoided or it can be replaced by another problem. So, when you face another problem, you will try to find another friend. This, um, this, this uh, could happen especially if it stays for a short period of time. And there is also a middle. Uh, a middle range objectives like um, if, if if there is some economic eruption, if there is social problem, uh, if there is limited resource, if the country face administrative problem, if the country is facing some administrative problems, it might be corruption, it might be lack of uh, finance. It might be another problem, but uh, in this case, government tries to solve by putting uh, a middle a range objective or a middle uh, range plan that could stay for not more than 10 years. And the last one is a long range objective or a long term relationship. This might be, okay, <clears throat> this might be. Uh, it can stay as long as the state is alive. It will stay as that state is independent, as that country is uh, full enough, as long as that country is in a position to remain. For example, the foreign policy we have had with America, the foreign policy that we have built with some Arab states, with China, that is irreplaceable. But Allah Barilla foreign policy replaces my direct It will not be replaced easily because we have had some ground. Even, even if the ruling government is replaced by another party, if the ruling government is uh, lost the election and if it is replaced by another one, then the foreign policy will continue serving these two states, these two countries. foreign policy. It is like <laughs> it's like an institution. It is like a very good institution. Okay, and then the institution, when this is work, I will never go, I will never go to the world. There are also companies. When this is the law, what? Yamiga is a very part of the year. Still, they will continue uh, their job. So, in the case of, uh, in the case of, uh, in the case of uh, long range foreign policy, uh, it will serve for a very long period of time. As you can told by the name itself, Kasumuras in the Redduction, we cannot easily define the time span. Vision and Zinobelan, this like it is uh, an unavoidable thing. It is just, uh, it's just make the relationship viable all the time. 
Similarly, uh, the foreign policy uh, could be understood in this way. Um, so uh, if the, the foreign policy is like that, uh, of course, there are places that we will not agree. Agree manner and bacho and then do not have any more to do. Those 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 agreements are binding. It's covered for very long period of time. So the other main point that we should uh, see, we should look into for today is uh, how about Ethiopia? If we have asked ourselves how Ethiopia has passed through different foreign policies through this. This time, if you have many number of questions, if you have a foreign policy, you can come back and you can come and then foreign policy, you can come back and how it served the country. Other than the Islam, the Kamakiro, the American Kamakiro, it's just a historical overview, okay? Historical overview. But before that, if you have any question, you're welcome. Okay, so let me go to the description. So we're going to see the foreign policy of Ethiopia uh, starting from the modern period. Imagine the modern period in Nepal. The Ethiopia modern period started, starts from <coughs> Emperor Tiagor II. Yeah, yeah, the Russian modern period for blue, uh, image of rock. Emperor Tiagor's period, Jamuri Adana. You see, Ethiopia used to have a, a, a foreign policy. It might not be formalized. Formalized, do you want to name on each other? Legally, I want each other. Again, Ethiopia, since the beginning, it has close connection with the Arab states and other Far East states, especially with trade. In Ethiopia, so especially with the Latin America, Latin America, Valencia, Valencia, Far East, and Nakra. For this course purpose, the Z course purpose, the foreign policy uh, of Ethiopia that was adopted in the 19th century is really the demarking. It really <coughs> uh, it starts at the time when Casa emerged as. Uh, one of uh, one of the uh, king, and he has the ambition. He has the ambition to unite Ethiopia, and even he tries to develop a foreign policy that reaches out beyond the Horn region. You know the Horn of Africa, and he tries to reach far further from the the the, the, the uh, Horn of Africa, and he thought that the Western Christian would recognize his country and help him to modernize his country. Okay, here you can see that uh, he was the most ambitious thing that Ethiopia could have. Ethiopia can have a job, but I'm ambitious to him. But I'm Rook Emi Melekatu, King of my Emperor Tiglos, and then you know, he believed that having international relationship is one of the key factors to make the country to adopt modernization. As a little modern in America, and then you know, I'm critical you know, with the international relationship in the number, but that's how he can't able to see it. He really recognized that having relationship with the outside world is very, very critical. For this reason, okay, for this reason, um, he specially or specifically, I can say, he specifically uh, creates good relationship with Britain, France, and Russia. Okay, he created a very good relationship with Britain, France, and Russia. And he has a good reason. He has a sound reason why he selected these, these three states. He did not want to create a relationship with Arabian countries like Egypt, like Turk, but he intentionally chose these three Christian nations. And as you and then the, the, the first and foremost reason why he chose uh, the reason that he chose these three states 
is like this. Can I be so sad on the camera? That doesn't really happen. Here, there is a possibility of fight. There is a possibility of war with Muslim mistakes. At that time, Islam was introduced as a new religion. Therefore, uh, states who adopt this religion tries to conquer the rest of the world and so as to disseminate this religion. Huh? And as a protectorate in the Mecca, as a protectorate, uh, Emperor Theodorus uh, relied on these three states, to Britain, France, and Russia, so that they have a Christian mentality, so uh, they can't, the country would not be uh, frightened with religion in Islam. So that they, he intentionally avoided the relationship with Turks, with Egyptians, or generally speaking, he, have, he avoided relationship with uh, Muslim states, and he made good contact. He made good relationship with, with uh, Christian states. So this, the foreign policy in this case, as you can understand, as you can read in the yeah, 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 relationship based, it is just for religious states, interest. To have social alliance, to have economic relationship, economic relationship, or to increase their diplomatic relationship, to have a political alliance, political alliance. And last time I can ask how ideology become one of the, the, the leading concepts at once upon a time to link the whole world. And then the more ideology in this element and the mirror. And it's good in the matter. Now, in this case, during the period of Emperor Theodore II, it was the fear of aggression. It was religion. That was a base for for having a relationship with these three countries. Therefore, <coughs> uh, the emperor attempted to establish his diplomatic relationship to fight uh, uh, the claiming Christianity uh, and the foreign policy depended on this. Uh, <coughs> he was even receiving and sending uh, letters to Queen Victoria, even, even, even if you read really Read Ethiopian history, he also used the piston. It had come up with Shukut on the TV. Rasmus of the Papas of Shukut, Kat, English, Yamatashi to the Dona, Tarikin. So it indicates you, it shows you that uh, Ethiopia had a very good relationship uh, with, with um, the rest of the world, and particularly these three states were intentionally chosen to facilitate their relationship. The other successor, the successor of emperor, um, the, the successor of emperor Theodorus was, as you know, is Johannes, of course. <clears throat> and after he took the power, after he took the power, as you know, he has supported the Egyptians at the Battle of Kundak and the Pura. And then the Egyptians uh, took, uh, took, took some power and the race he was, uh, was dominated by the Mahadis and so on and so on. That is the historical point of view. But what we try to uh, show uh, with, uh, with the perspective of international relationship is um, Johannes also used the same foreign policy that was introduced by Emperor Theodos. As you got at Emanism, the Zachovanabur, the city, the foreign policy, it was the same as that was used by <coughs> Emperor Theodos. This is reasonably because even <coughs> uh, Muslim, Muslims as a follower and Islam as a religion become a threat to Ethiopia. Islamana and the Andreman, Islamana and the Kartelchen, and the Andreke and the Borbato Islamana. This is uh, reasonably because these people 
want to expand the religion so that the foreign policy must be improved. And what, what uh, Emperor Yohannes tries to use as a mechanism was to, to, to avoid any contact with Muslim states. Therefore, the foreign policy was improved and the foreign policy the shashlo and do agaritus yes lemna haymano taqamal indikatal muslimochin indikedelu yetedebegebo waket nebar if you remember therefore the foreign policy is much more stronger in the case of religion and you can understand the same the other and the very critical, the other uh, important and very critical foreign policy was adopted during Menelik II. During Menelik II, as you know, this king was, you know, the, fa the father, you can say, the founder for many modern instruments that we are still using. If you have seen the trend, it was introduced during many weeks If you have considered modern education, modern transportation, telephone service, electricity service, um, vehicle service, the management of the Every modern instrument were introduced during uh, Emperor Manic time. So you can see that this could not be realized in the absence of international relations. We are adopting from elsewhere, yeah? So he has used to port Zayla as a very strategic uh, uh, outlet so that the, the rest of the world would have access through this sea. And that port was used for importing and exporting. Um, it's not aeroplane at that time that comes in and out. Aeroplane, aeroplane, in and out, you know. It is uh, a water transportation with a dominant method. So, <coughs> in order to <coughs> increase <coughs> the process of modernization, then uh, Emperor Manilik uh, has used um, a different strategy, especially with England with Italy, with Germany, with Britain, uh, good international relationship or international agreements were signed. Furthermore, the international relationship we have had with Italy was also one of the, one of the, you know, uh, fatal mistakes that Ethiopia has made and that leads to the battle of what? I don't know, as you see, as you knew, uh, the document, the foreign policy that we have signed on Article 17 has some uh, transitional problem, a transition, uh, yeah, translation problem. This is as a result of the international relationship we have had. Yeah? International relationship. So <clears throat> the international relationship, just to sum up what we have discussed, sum up the the international relationship that 
ethiopia has followed the different time has its own objective ethiopia by the way the government of the country foreign policy see as actually one and the parachu objective the parachu as you have seen in the beginning at the beginning it is just to protect the country from religious problems other thing i am not sorry which then subsub and then after once this problem was no anymore a threat in the motor mohon kavaka bohara then uh, international relationship was created with with the western world that is our power in other shara alama kafil minat tatwal matna so in plan uh uh Minilik was also faced to be the colonial powers because at that time uh most of african states were under colonization uh, so on one hand the, it was he had a strong objection of foreign aggression but um foreign aggression in nika or foreign policy and also um since the country uh, was at the uh, at the modernization process Uh, having an international relationship with us so mandatory so that we don't know and go to the yeah he in exact interest with the other agreements in the bar that's why italy came frequently to uh, make this uh, it is dream realization yeah the bar can be realized the matter the bar but the gagami and the extra for and the business to the matter all the time the gagami supposed to make a bar but Gizeh and Lebanon. Again, because countries do have a foreign interest, an aggression interest, it does not limit Ethiopia to have foreign relationship. Many of our leaders, Ethiopia has more interest in Europe. So, they are telling Ethiopia foreign policy in Europe from a drug, like the march. This is just. to have a small summary a small overview of of uh, international relationship <coughs> uh, that was implemented during uh, Theodore the second up to Menelik the second so let's see so the time span of our lecture but the purpose is to be clear and yet for you to listen to the comments and as the members then after 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 the Menelik Period. Of course, there was a time of the Dias who in the thirty two, but that time was not a such remarking time. Remarking the time, uh, I don't know, yet as at most. So the foreign policy, simply we can jump to the Emperor Haile Selassie period. The Emperor Haile Selassie period was lasted from nineteen sixty two to nineteen seventy four, and during this time, ah. Uh, Uh, of course, Menelik has died in 1913, and it was not until 1913 that the next strong emperor, Haile Selassie, assumed the throne. As far as I know, such a strong emperor, such a good one, as far as I know, Selassie was a strong emperor, a powerful emperor, and a leader that could have the ability to create international relationship. By the way, by the way, to have international relationship, a strong government is mandatory. Yeah. Strong government as well, but unfortunately during this time span we did not have a strong and a powerful um, government who can centralize in who can bureaucratic empire. So the international relationship was clearly started after 1923. That is when the regent to the crown, the Prime Minister, has took the power and. Immediately after he took the power, there was an initiation to make Ethiopia part of the Commission. You know, this is a very remarkable. It is a very interesting. It is a very uh, nice time, which we really remark as uh, a claim that Ethiopia has applied to be a member of. Some international organization. At that time, it was League of Nations that was um, that was, you know, uh, a formally formally established. Yeah, I don't know. Salam, salam, salam. It's a big, 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 big
kan hij dus in een romanen. It was legal fiction. So Ethiopia has showed to be member of this international alliance. So whenever legal fiction, that's why most of the time when legal fiction is mentioned, the name Tavari Mokone, the next Violet Latte, uh, is mentioned frequently. largely 
oriented to socialist ideology. A socialist ideology, a mere amendment is the emperor Kainas Lassi created to Mara Yamata. Then the primary objective of the foreign policy were survival of the region and maintaining the territorial integrity of the country. You should note two main things in here. The foreign policy focuses on two major things. The first one is survival of the region. The government wants to survive. The government wants to leave the state for a long period of time. As a result, they have adopted uh, they have adopted socialism as an ideology. And not only being survival is the only objective of the ruling government, but it is to maintain territorial integrity of the country. Therefore, <clears throat> the major strategy achieved uh, at that time was heavily focused on the building the military capability of the country. The Dark region highly working on building, building the military capability of the country. So if, if they went to have if they have adopted a socialist approach, and if they wanted to increase their military capability, then making a good relationship with USSR, the current Russia. Russia, Having a relationship with Russia was mandatory, therefore, Ethiopia was successfully created a good relationship with Russia so that the country got the maximum assistance, militarily speaking, uh, and technically, uh, as technical assistance and military help was highly obtained from Russia. Uh, the military or highly cultural matter, and now you look at the culture of the Armenian. Uh, Ethiopia, the two of that are Tunka, Cuba, Russia, but generally speaking, uh, from countries who do have the same ideology, uh, is in some way, you can refer about it. So, can you see how ideology is a weapon in this time to create condition with different countries? Then, after all, I'm trying to dig up, strategy with no ideology, some of us ideology, electoral goals, and the level of one. They can exchange resources. They can exchange financial resources. They can exchange military resources. So, uh, 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 ideology of a political ideology, a political ideology, a political ideology, a political ideology, USA on one hand, and USSR on the other hand, the other government on the USSR, USA, USSR, fighting the other states on Afghanistan. But that's what Ethiopia did in its friendship to USSR because they are following the same ideology. Some of the ideology is Islamic culture, Ethiopia, Cameroon, Kainik, whether. Russia, so with the relationship with Soviet Union and other socialist countries uh, was very much strong. Uh, people usually traveled to Moscow and Warsaw to have military and logistical support. Uh, military and logistic support in Armenia, but I'm busy with the watch whether Warsaw or Moscow. So this is the type of or the kind of foreign policy we have had during the military region. Uh, after uh, the downfall of the military region, it is the current or the ruling government, the one that is still on power, uh, replaced, and they have completely changed the foreign policy that was adopted during the dark period. And this address, but it had a general, that is a more basic and a 
ተራራብ እና በአዲስ ስም የበቃው ፓርቲ ደግሞ በፊት የነበረውን ፖሊን ፖሊሲ ሙሉ ለሙሉ ነው የቀየረው ማለት ነው ዘ ኢንተርናሽናል ፖሊሲ ዘ ፖሊን ፖሊሲ ዘት ወዝ አዶፕትድ ኢን ዩዝድ ፎር ዘ ዘ ፓስት 20 ኤንድ ሞር ኢየርስ ዌር ኮምፕሊትሊ ሪፕሌስ ባይ አናዘ Uh, so if he, if he are the if took the power after 1991 and the foreign policy is driving primary by the quest to ensure national interest and security remember during the military regime it is just to strengthen the military capability but in the current one in the in the in the recent uh, political affairs the the interest or the motive or the objective was was mainly relies on two things that on democracy and development the foreign policy we have had during the third period lack these two elements yeah third period waqt la yeneber foreign policy enezi kulak element luzi yaderega neber we could not talk about democracy as a time in fact so relatively the current one allows somehow currently even now we don't know this kader ke itishala democracy satwal tablo ba bizu sahat yandem iwara so it gives some democracy and also it focuses on development development in education development in infrastructure development in fighting against poverty fighting against ignorance so relationship that increase the intellectual level of citizens are highly maintained but am bizu scholarship ut kemecho ngize bala etiopia kaleluch agoroch gara bemamtat yelekemechu bet gize berketenyenet amun mamatich that's relationship the actual relationship in the last and a very good relationship is achieved with china and arab states which we were not good at but it yalle bara addis gununnet ka china na ka arab agaroch gara eta 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 jemerebe gize no mal and as i have told you earlier as i have told you earlier uh, the the objective relies on two basic things democracy and development when we are talking about democracy uh, the, the country should sign different international uh, agreements that manifest human rights democratic rights alam alam aqab etelay you emirqaqu tubochin part mo ne asfelga if we are talking about democracy so such kind of things had happened
investors ግብርድ ኢትዮጵያውያን እና ኢትዮጵያውያን ለመርዳት ተብሎ የተለያየ የሚመጣውን አዳዲስ ህግ ተመልክቷል። እህ ለምሳሌ አንድ ዲያስፖራ ከውጪ መጥቶ ግድር እንጠይቅና እኔና ብሩክ ግድር እንጠይቅ እኩል አደረን ትሪት ምን እንደረደ። It is just to increase what development ያ ከውጪ መጣው ሰውዬ ብዙ የውጪ ገንዘብ ይዘው ነው ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ ሰርቶ ሰው ቀጥሮ ለቀጠራቸው ሰዎች ደግሞ ግብር ከፍሎ you know the economy will facilitate like that እንደዛ እንዲሆን ማለት ነው። ግልጽ ነው ስለዚህ it puts or it creates a favorable external environment they really attract external goods and the external goods which are brought to which huge digital chain international organization that sets up up abroad which are set up here in Europe they are you international organization by putting good incentives to my parasacha the rest of government tries to create good good international uh, relation and as last uh, uh, what the current or the ruling the government tries to address uh, is that uh, they have some principle that uh, if, uh, if 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 we are strong enough inside then we cannot be frightened by the external pressure አገር ውስጥ ያለን ኢኮኖሚክ ሶሻል ፖለቲካል ስቴቢሊቲ ጥሩ ከሆነ የውጭ አግሬሽን የውጭ የሚመጣ ወራራ አያሰጋለም የሚል ፖለቲካል አውትሌት ነው ያለው ወይም አደብ የተደረገው ማለት ነው። the diplomatic relationship uh, the economic diplomacy uh, is really stronger than the domestic effort in fighting poverty and uh, backwardness Uh, the issue of economic diplomacy uh, involves attracting foreign investments seeking a market for Ethiopian exporting the commodities seeking aid and conditional loans to coach agar gara yale mdilinnet min lay beze yaderagara andenya have an attraction for foreign investment coach mi investment which le makabal emireda seeking market for Ethiopian export items Ethiopia ra wodu chimunnetacho coach and it amr yemiyerek and also seeking aid erdatanum yemetallen yetelayayu ayinat erdatawoch le etiopia kemechon gize bala menisa yetisetta marilu international monetary funds different countries tries to even individuals not only at national level but an individual look what jack ma has tried to do for ethiopia exceptional ዳክማ ባንዶክ ከሚል ይህ ከዚህ በሽ ተጋብቶ ያለ ለመላው አፍሪካ በተለይ ደግሞ ለኢትዮጵያ ምሳሌ የነበረው ፈጣታ ማይት ይችላል ማለት ነው how this thing could achieve it is because of the very good international relationship it is because of the very good uh, foreign policy the country has adopted so um, for free trade for investment for technological transfer ethiopia opened its door through it is foreign policy ethiopia bala foreign policy barwa kift adarege free trade na ta gabeyan ethiopia ust yallo investment is interesting technological transfer is possible yeah all this thing is really encourage um, the, the the globalization process that we are in ስለዚህ ኢትዮጵያ እንግዲህ በባለፉት 25 26 አመታት ያሳለፈችው የፖሊቲ ፖሊሲ ይሄን ነው የሚመስል ማለት ነው። A very special relationship was also created with successful countries like Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia. በጣም በሚገርም ሁኔታ በብዛት በዚህ ነው በተለይ government organization took as a role model this state ወዛ ፕሮግራም ስትራቴጂክ ነው እና ሲንጋፖር እና ማሌዢያ እና ኢንዶኔዢያ ሰክሰስፉሊ ስትሪያቸው ሼር በማድረግ ኢትዮጵያ ጥሩ ሪሌሽንሺፕ የተጠራችበት ጊዜ ነበር ማለት ይቻላል ማለት ነው። So if we are looking at the pattern okay if we are looking at the pattern that the country has uh, followed 
there was some changes from time to time, but the foreign policy really uh, targeted some some mission, and I think those missions are achieved. So from the imperial time to the military region, the foreign policy is largely an approach to current region followed by the inside out approach. In a current approach, the inside out approach. If we make the inside the environment calm, then it will attract the external groups. Inside out approach, mother. It's not Ethiopia who is going to invite the outside world. It is the outside world who wants to make a business in Ethiopia. So, a diamond is not speaking that I am a diamond. Diamond and diamond and yellow, I told him for it. Those people who knew about diamond before and pick it. So let's look at the more the inside out approach and the government to let the country have a stable rules, regulations, administrations, system. Generally speaking, system of the government, the government, the government, the government, the government. So, if you have any question, you are welcome. Otherwise, I will stop being here. The next time, we'll start the third chapter that's on international political uh, economy. We'll have a brief discussion uh, on this area. So, I have finished uh, the lecture for today. If you have any question, you are welcome. Otherwise, have a good time. Leyunet Mefter, Alama Chino, Alama Kefto Dadarimona Lebachu. The National Airways at Kubania National Aviation College. Tratna de Rejon Yeta Beka Sultana Bamestat, Bukuzega Yafarano. Buffalite Operation, Bever Ramestangudo. Beticating in a reservation. Botil in a tourism world as Sultan and Toda in Nadrutalan. College Achin. Canada Camigeno. International Air Transport Association Ayatana. Kangalizu ICM Gar Bamatababer. Alama Kafukna Lo Sultana Yesate Genya. Buffalo operation. Bever Rames Tangido, Yemen Satacho Sultana, Ethiopia Civil Aviation Bala Sultan, Muluk and Nan. Adrasha, Kurgola Gul Tower, Hyoleta Dababai, Wadashola Bemus Domangerlai, Ye National Airways at Kubania, National Aviation College, Elmon, 